two things today we're going to be looking at the timer and we're going to be looking at how to use a push button to act like a switch the conveyor here is running perfectly because we are using a switch if it is a push button it's not going to work for instance i'm going to change this address from x24 to x21 which is an address that belongs to a push button and then we are going to write that program to the plc i've written the program to the plc my plc is in run mode okay then when i supply product to the conveyor using x20 which is addressed to this input when i press x21 my conveyor you know it stopped immediately I, re I removed my hand from it i have to press it down for it to continue running why because it's a push button a push button is a spring loaded button it requires you to continually to press it down for it to allow current to pass now for you to make a push button work like a switch you need to know what is called latching okay and that's the first thing you are going to be learning today latching so how do you latch you first of all have the address of your push button x21 at the input side the output which is the y1 conveyor the underneath you click the f6 which is the open branch then you will put the address of your output inside so the address of your output which is y1 is going to be inside sorry sorry for that down, down here you put this output then you put the address of your output which is y1 and so this is now an alternative way for power to flow even when power stops flowing from x21 so you press ok then you write to plc and um, let's look at the magic now now you press the push button once and then your next push button is pressed you can see the conveyor continue to run now we want a situation that this conveyor only runs for 20 seconds and then stop why running for 20 seconds we want this indicator to let us know that the conveyor is running to do that it's very simple the same input that is supplying power to our conveyor we can then use that same input okay to send power to our timer now a timer works with duration it requires a continuous uh, a continuous uh, signal for it to be running so we are going to be using our output which is the conveyor that will continually be active to serve as an input to our timer y1 we serve an input to your timer now when you want to address your timer you press this way from in plc i i must say this in plc we have your timer from t0 to 225 that's 256 timers majorly in most of the plc there are plc's that is more than that of course but for major plc from 0 to, to, to 255 so you can you can have t0 you can decide to have t1 you can decide to have t3 for instance but for this class i'm going to be using t0 okay then you for fx trainer which is also for mr bushy plc i know this is how you put your timer t0 space k that is now for the timing duration then for instance if you put 50 that means this is going to count for 50 seconds before stopping so now t0 k 50 is our timer now okay we convert that and then write to the plc now look at that you press x20 you supply product your timer is on zero if you see this then every time you press x21 once conveyor is on this timer continue to count until it reach 50 can you see that and then stop at 50 because it's meant to stop at 50 now but what we want is this when it stop at 50 our conveyor that is still running should not run again then our conveyor should stop and while it is counting we should have our indicator light right here you know continually on and when it is 50 conveyor is stopping indicator light is of course is going to stop as well so to achieve that now we've set t0 to count for 50 durations we will use t0 in between this place as a normally close so that it can break now at default it is normally close 
okay this address t0 which belongs to this so what we are trying to achieve is this after t0 has counted 50 its state will change here from normally close to normally open which will break the signal that is coming from this side and by then our y1 okay which is the conveyor is going to stop working okay so that's that's that for now so let's convert again then right to the plc then you press to supply product then our timer is counting again look it is normally close here and when it is 50 can you notice what happened the conveyor stopped running that's exactly what we want you to achieve now to sweeten it up we're going to be adding an extra branch here okay of because we are going to be putting a coil of y20 which is indicator lamp so anytime there is power here there must be power here. it's just very simple it's like you looping in electrical looping okay like you are tapping power to this place so when there's no power there's no power so this can be an indicator for this particular conveyor so we close this then we write to the plc again now when you do that look at this now we press to supply product okay what's gonna why is product not supplying sorry i don't okay good it's supplying actually then at the same time oh sorry the light is y20 not y21 uh, y0 so let me put y20 in. okay so let's convert again all right to the p of c now can you see the red light coming up telling us the conveyor is still running you can still keep supply but whenever the conveyor stop running the light is off until you press again then it starts counting you can still keep supplying but whenever the light went off your conveyor is stopped this is how exactly your timer work and this is exactly how your latching condition work now we're going to be you know explaining again normally in the other class we had we said x20 is an input y0 is an output then we are using an input to supply power to an output okay then we use a switch to on our conveyor which is y1 but now we want to be able to use a push button to act like a switch so we put the address of our push button here and the output of our uh, conveyor which is y1 then we put an open branch from here with the same address of our conveyor okay and then we send the power to it then our push button is working okay like a switch so you don't need to continually press it when you press it once okay the power continually you know it continues to go to that conveyor then the same thing we said to sweeten this up we introduced to you for the first time a timer the same way your normal timer work but this time around we are using our conveyor to power the timer so that whenever the conveyor is on the timer start counting and when it reaches 50 seconds we use it as a normally close button to stop the conveyor and that is exactly what we do also to make us uh, the operator in the field know what is going on when the conveyor is running and when it's not running we attach here an indicator lamp to give us information from afar when the conveyor is running and when it is not running so this is also a branch so we are looping power from here to here saying whenever you are on you should also be on as well in our next class we're going to be introducing you to all statement and statement we we'll continue on counter we we'll continue on uh, we, we introduce counter to you and then we we'll still continue on timer thank you for subscribing to light automation we love you and have a nice time bye